Okay. It worked. It's in focus. Um, to preface, to start out, I have absolutely nothing planned for this video or for the channel. Like, I'm scared and excited at the same time. And I saw something on TikTok once. I was like, if you're scared and excited for something at the same time, go full send. So I'm going full send. <laughs> Um, I don't really know where to go or what to do with this, but I have a lot of content I want to create. Hey Daisy, come here. Come here. Hey. Being able to have a space where I've created so much beautiful content about my life and I've been able to like genuinely just romanticize my life and have like a highlight reel of everything that's good or bad or in between that's happened is kind of beautiful and I want to be able to look back on it and see who I was, see in like and so vividly um, how my life was and it's gonna take me a lot to try to figure this out but I will do it and I'm excited um, so I'm gonna go get ready and I'm gonna actually go for a hike on my own today. I've never done that before, but it's a period of transition and growth. So I'm gonna go do that. Okay. Okay. Peace out. My beautiful oatmeal bowl and our beautiful porch with our beautiful cat and my beautiful yoga. I was thinking while I was eating breakfast, um, I've had a lot of, like, a strong feeling to have the courage to try something new and to be bad at it. And I've heard a lot of, like, messages telling me to do that as well, to just, just let yourself be new at something, let yourself do something wrong or weird or just, like, something you're not used to. Um, and those are the times where we often find ourselves the most or learn something the most valuable. Yeah, I don't even know how to edit a video, so I'm definitely bad at this, and that's okay though. Like, I'm learning that, like, it's okay to just be really terrible at something, and I think that's what I'm trying to do with this, is just, just do what makes me happy, even if, yeah. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent, but I'm just going to go take the dog out, and then I'm going to get ready to drive up the mountain. I'm not going to go very far. I'm just going to go over to the lake. So, yeah. I made it. I made it, I made it, and I have my lunch. This is my burrito. Yes. Hummus, quinoa, uh, lettuce, shaved carrots, pepper, lemon juice, avocado oil, what else? And honey. And a black bean burger on a gluten-free spinach wrap and apples. And I've got my journals. I've got my old journal that I'm reading through. My yoga mat, my backpack. And a very beautiful mountain view. I'm feeling good. Daisy. I ended up not recording everything yesterday. Um, I went for my hike, which was really, really nice. I actually learned a lot about myself. And I did a little bit of shadow work. I'm still like learning about shadow work. I'm not exactly sure how it, how it works and what to do. But for me right now, um, it's mostly just admitting to myself things that I don't they, like grudges I hold against people or just things I don't like about myself, things that I hold against myself. And whenever I consciously admit them to the air or to myself, like it allows me to let go of them a little bit further. So for me right now, shadow work is really just looking into myself and seeing, okay, what is something I need to work on, what's something I don't like that I'm doing, and how do I fix it, and how do I move forward. As soon as I got home, I picked my mom up, and we went to the gym for a little bit, for like literally less than 10 minutes. But it was still really nice. Um, we cooked some dinner, and I have a little, I'll end a little like video of it. But it's, it's, it was so good. I made, oh, it was so good. I made, um some gluten-free rotini noodles with like avocado oil salt and pepper and balsamic vinegar and then i cooked some vegetables some broccoli kale and shredded carrots in the pan with like some really good oh it's so good and we did some vision board stuff actually i'm working on a vision board for my journal 
but everything's like every everything is he everything is I can't do it right now. But I'll try to take a video of it and show a little bit later. Um, but then I passed out and I did not record anything. I was like, I was barely even alive last night coming home after the hike and the run. I was like running on zero. But I was like, my day has been too short. I didn't get up until ten, and I was like, I can't be up for less than twelve hours in a day. So I stayed up because I felt the need to. But that was about it for yesterday, um, and today's Mother's Day, so we, where I made my mom some breakfast and got some gifts for her and stuff like that. I'm gonna try to put this together kind of in like a video thing, and I probably won't, this will probably be like a little practice run thing, I probably won't post it, but it'll still be fun to see kind of like how it fits together. I only literally have like six clips from the day, so it won't be much, but I have another one I'm working on right now. That I've been working on since January and it's May so I kind of need to get going with that but I've just had a lot going on I don't have much else to say um but hopefully I'll be back here soon I really want to get into making like just like less like video I don't know I'm, I'm excited um yeah I'm excited so I will go and try to get these on my computer and try to get this together if nothing else, please remember that I love you, and yeah, <laughs> I'll figure something out.